Hello, welcome to the presentation of PC Navigator 7 from Map Factor. I'm doing this on the Rayon uh, Digital Everrun for a couple of reasons. One, it's the smallest device that I have and it works very well in the car. I use it in a standard PDA holder. Secondly, it's a very low power device in terms of processing power and uh, it will give you a good idea of how it will work on other UMPCs because most other UMPCs will be more powerful than this. Okay. Uh, I've prepared the GPS receiver over Bluetooth. I'm using Blue Soleil software on the Rayon Digital Everon and a GPS uh, Slim 236 device. So let's go straight into the uh, software. And it starts up in a map, uh, map mode. And the first thing you'll see is that it's got finger friendly controls, which is one of the big advantages of PC Navigator 7 over other other software that I've tried. I know that iGuidance 4 is touch and UMPC optimized now and I think Navigon is uh, also um, optimized for touchscreen as well but compared to things like Autoroute or Streets and Trips 2007 this is this is a lot lot better. In fact with the software you actually get two programs. You get the uh, full screen live navigation program but you also get an auto route or streets and trips like program which is called a map, uh, map explorer which, which gives a lot of the functionality that streets and trips would give. So you've got the best of both worlds here and I, and I like that and for 120 euros it's uh, looking very good value. So let's go through some of the functions. Um, I'll do a quick uh, route for you so you can see how you calculate a route. You've got a main menu, menu with a number of functions but basically to find a route, find, find a navigate, address, choose your country. I've loaded up three maps, uh, sorry, sorry, three country maps here with, um, with the PC Navigator 7 Europe. You've got uh, maps for most countries in Europe. Most of those have 100% coverage as well. But there is a US and Canadian version as well. So we can search for a town. I'm going to use. Oh, no, we're not in Germany. So let's go Germany, Bonn, and we'll take. You can see the touchscreen is really nice. The keyboard is very usable. So, and then navigate to. So everything is basically top left hand we controls. And just to calculate turn a simple right route, and then turn left. that's is it how easy it is. So on the left hand side, and I'll demonstrate this later in the car, you've got um, how far it is to the next uh, turn. And then you, this is configurable here on the right hand side. You can um, add your speed in there, or your height, or whatever you want to do. You can choose two, two options. And there's also a volume option as well. Okay, so let's uh, cancel that um, navigation and I want to go back to the map and show you some functions that you can do from the map. Okay, uh, here is a little menu system when you hit it four options come up. The first is a hand which allows you to move the map. Now um, the way the map moves is not very pretty. Basically, it shadows the existing map, moves it away, and then once you've let go, the new part of the map fills in. Uh, it could be a lot nicer than that, uh, and, and, sh and would be a lot nicer if it filled in as you moved the map, but it doesn't do that. So that's the move. You've also got a quick magnifying option. Um, so let's uh, go back into the hand and go out. So you can use the quick magnifying option to choose an area. So let's say here and then we can zoom into that area like that. You've also got an info button so you can choose an area and then it allows you to either add that area to your favorites or to find a POI. So for example I can find the nearest um, restaurant by just clicking a restaurant and there's the nearest restaurant show it on the map and 
la balada should pop up there it is in the middle and we can zoom in on that and you can then choose the flag option click on the flag and do navigate to and it instantly sets up a route to that point of interest um, my GPS is outside the window I'm not sure that uh, communication is perfect turn right and then turn left. okay so let's have a look at some other options we've got here we'll go through the menu system um, you can um, instead of doing an instant navigate you can set your navigation point as um, an endpoint. Whoops. Let's just turn the navigation turn right off. And then turn left. Turn up navigation. Recalculating. Turn right and turn then off turn navigation. Left. Good. Okay. So once you've found a, a point where you can go to, you want to go to, you can set it as a waypoint or as an endpoint or as a start point, and then the routes can be saved so you'd, you'd find the routes in the routing point here and then you could actually save those routes for example I've got uh, a route um, that I've saved that I can load up like that and then you can use that route by just hitting navigation okay favorites you've got an odom odometer here which allows you to calculate uh, mileage for private and business use you have to either hit use private or use business to to use the odometer and it gives you totals there moving on we've got a day and night mode as normal I don't like the night mode colors I don't know if you can change those um, you can save and replay a journey so you can actually use this as a tracking unit which is quite nice um, because the Everrun with the extended battery is going to run for nearly 10 hours with the screen off you can use that to, to do a nice bit of uh, tracking if you're going uh, hiking or something like that and talking of um, walking you can set it to, pedest to pedestrian mode so I guess it does things like allows you to go up one-way streets the wrong way and stuff like that um, you can go straight to a set of coordinates and one of the licensing options is vehicle, vehicle tracking now I don't have that license option so I can't show it but it uses um, internet connection over GPRS or HSDPA to communicate with the map factor server and then users can log into the map factor server to see where vehicles are there are a number of options on that which I don't know about because I haven't been able to test them then you've got settings and in the settings you've got things like TMC is a traffic management channel uh, if you've got a receiver that takes TMC signals you can get live traffic information on screen as well there's also a camera point of interest database that's downloadable and you can set that up to give you warnings at various distances I haven't used that because I think the camera database is only for the UK but anyway uh, these days cameras are so portable I wouldn't rely on a camera speed camera database